Uh, Dr. Fauci is without doubt the leading expert in the world in infectious diseases, among other subjects. And let me tell you a little bit about his background before we get into what I think will be a very interesting conversation. Um, he is a native of Brooklyn. Uh, did his undergraduate work at Holy Cross, then went to Cornell Medical School, got his uh, MD there, then came down to the National Institutes of Health um, and worked there for several years on a fellowship, went back to Cornell as the chief resident or internal med medicine, and then came back uh, in 1972 to the National Institutes of Allergy and Infectious Diseases and became the head of it in 1984. So he's been running it for more than 30 years. During that period of time, he has authored or co-authored more than 1,300 scholarly papers relating to infectious disease and other medical issues, and is one of the most highly cited uh, scholars in the medical field for his uh, research. He's also been deeply involved in the HIV AIDS uh, problems of, of years ago and today, and he is uh, one of the people responsible for the discovery that HIV does lead to AIDS, and has been very involved in the uh, effort to help treat AIDS, and behind that, uh, as well, he uh, helped create the PEPFAR program that President Bush announced that has been so helpful in reducing HIV and AIDS incidents in Africa, among other places. Well, one time, I understand it, President Bush called you up and said, come in, see me, uh, President Bush 43, and you went in and you talked about uh, creating a program which became PEPFAR. Is that how it came about? Uh, yeah, it was actually President George W. Bush's idea when, when in 1982, he sent me and... In, 90, in 2002. Uh, excuse me, two, uh, 2002. 2002, I'm sorry. He's, he's good, he's sharp. Right. Right. <laughs> in 2002, uh, President George W. Bush sent me and then Secretary of HHS uh, Tommy Thompson to a group of African countries with the thought of, could you find out is there something that we could do there that's transforming? Because he actually did tell me, and, and this is the truth, that he said, you know, we, as a rich country, he feels we have a moral obligation to do something for those who are less fortunate than us. And he knew, because it was happening, that most of the suffering and the devastation uh, in HIV was in Southern Africa. So he sent us to Southern Africa, we visited a bunch of countries, and he said, I want you to come back with, is it feasible to do something? Would we be able to be effective? And can we do something transforming? Don't worry about how much it costs but just figure out, can we do something for treatment, prevention, or care? So I went down, then I came back in the spring of 2002, I presented it to him, and one of it was to do a mother-to-child transmission prevention uh, program that was about $500 million. And he said, great, let's do it right away. And I thought that was it, we were gonna do $500 million for mother-to-child transmission. But to my surprise, as I was walking out of I think it was the Roosevelt Room that we were in in the White House. Uh, Josh Bolton was the deputy chief of staff at the time, and he grabbed me and he grabbed Josh and he says, you know what, why don't you go back and put together a really, really big program that involves beyond pediatrics, that involves adults, treatment, prevention, and care. So for about eight months from maybe June or so of 2002 until the end of the year, I kept on going back and forth and putting the model together of how many countries, how many people, et cetera, et cetera. And then I went to him and I said, you know, this is gonna be a very, very expensive program. It's gonna be at least $15 billion uh, over a period of five years. And to the great dismay of OMB, who were getting very nervous with additional money to come out, the president said, let's do it. And he announced it in his State of the Union address on January 28th, 2003. And it was the initiative of President George W. Bush. I mean, I was the instrument of it, but it was his initiative to do it. And that's been extraordinary because there have already been now 10 million people who have been on antiretroviral, which means that there have been millions of lives have been saved by his program. 